Welcome back to Brews with the Homies. This is your host, Brews with D, bro. On this episode, we got the crew. The crew is Brews with JB and Heron Brews. What's up, fellas? How y'all doing? Pretty good. Excited about this episode. We got the camera rolling. We got iPhone quality, so it should be good to go. We got some great beers. We got a mead from Horace Honeyhawk. This one's going to be, I believe, raspberry guava. We got uh, Heady Topper, Swarf City from Belching Beaver, and we have a jalapeno one from uh, Rar. 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 So Rar. We got plenty of variety. We're going to give you guys some great different beer from different parts, different places. And so, JB, you kind of you kind of you kind of started a little quick there. Yes. This episode is going to be like our our first test our first test episode. Okay. okay. We're going to do a flight episode. Yes, sir. We got all these different kinds of beers, and we're just going to have conversations over a flight. Let's just let's just have Make have it fun nice and easy, you know. Week. Let's have fun. Let's relax. Let's do it. So, JB, kick us off with the first beer. All right. So. We're going to switch it up. I want to go with the mead first. I've been dying to try oh, this. Oh, the mead. Come on. like what, Where's the mead from? So, Horace did this one. So, Horace. This one's guava, raspberry mead. I've been dying to try this because people that I've heard that have tried it said it's top quality. Top We've quality. done a couple meads on the podcast before, so we wanted to get a different, you I know, mean, I taste, did say last variety. week, let's get back on our mead kicking our uh yeah yeah it was a collaboration with gavin it was uh produced and bottled by honey hawk san diego california uh gluten-free 14 percent abv so let's cheers it up boys all right boom oh ooh, ooh, delicious oh man this, even on the nose this smells what it tastes like it's almost like kind of like a cranberry like taste if you have like a nice sweet yeah. juicy cranberry juice like if you ever had like a fresh cranberry juice that has like a really good sweetness no sourness to it it's very this smooth this just reminds rough. me of cranberry sauce okay yeah that's that's what it reminds me of i mean the texture is almost the same but in like liquid form if you know what i mean yeah so like i i enjoy it or yeah. As James would say, this is take my clothes off good. Oh, so damn good. Uh, come on. What do you expect? We have their barley wine stouts all the time. I'm glad we got to try this. Heron, do you taste guava? Because I do get that kind of, I think that's what's giving yeah. you that, that extra, like, sweetness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know those guava candies that are, like, kind of, like, tan looking? Yes. Okay, yeah. It kind of yes. gives you that kind of vibe where you get that sweetness and that kind of, like, faint guava, but very sweet. Like, definitely yeah. sugar added guava. Yes. This beer is... Like perfect, perfect. Yeah, so now that we had a bottle, I want to go back to our famous ranking system. Yes. No, no holds. Not one person per bottle. Yeah. How many are you buying? God, if I had the option, man, I would have this on deck. Like just to have in the fridge, I'd have like a whole roll of it. Just anytime I'm in the mood, like for, just to kind of get roll? Up, No, like just stocked, like. For every kind of share I go to, oh, wow. just if I want something that's juicy, kind of fruity, like, but at 14%, dude, you could get fucked up on this. Like, Easy. you're you're talking about, I want to get fucked up, but I want to enjoy every fucking ounce. Like, I think Ryan would love this. Like, this is like a classic Sticky Boys, like, oh, meets yeah. mead. Like, oh, that's sweet, perfect. juicy, all, oh, man, absolutely killed it. I, I would have a whole fridge of it, just... Yeah, just a whole fridge. Hey, Take your you clothes really off good. Miss you, James. I mean, I would definitely have like six of these on deck just because they're excellent. Like, if I want to get drunk and not get bloated because there's no CO2 yeah. in this. No. Excellent, man. I've just been thinking about CO2 every single time. I'm like, <laughs> huge into beer. All of us are. Yeah. And the thing is, like, it just fills you up. And you gotta burp or you gotta start yeah, farting and shit. Like, what the hell's going on? Like, all right, you, got, you gotta regulate your burps. And <laughs> yeah, you're just you like, gotta like get it all out. You gotta make room. Yeah. So, I mean, this is this is excellent. I've been thinking about going to wine and stuff, like drinking some more wine because it's, you know, no CO two there. And yeah, barley like, wines also. Like, yeah, you just, just you just gotta drink yeah. more beer that is less carbonated, 
and you appreciate it a little more because like it, it's gonna mess with your stomach a little less. Do we have a bruise with the wine episode? Is that what I'm hearing? Wine with the homies. Yeah, 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 wine yeah, with the yeah, homies. We gotta do that at some point. I, I, what do you guys think? Yeah, let it. Well, you know what? Hey, we'll let you guys decide. Yeah. If you guys want to see an episode of us trying some different wines, please. Let us know. Yeah, I mean, they went to the wine and cheese night, James and Karen, oh, yeah. so like, it'd be cool. We've had wine. Oh, so. dude, we've had more than just wine. We've, we've had some pretty good kind, wine. Yeah, <laughs> we've had all kinds of wine. So, um, you know what I almost forgot to? We should have added to this flight or just swapped one out is the other barley wine we had. We talked about last episode. Yeah. So we'll have to save that. Uh, we'll, we'll have to save that. Hey, we replaced it with a good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, before we move on to the next beer here, fellas, do you know what we are going to have for next week's episode oh i want to do that other barley one for sure no no i'm not even talking about just beer wise oh, okay okay well, yeah. we have the first episode of kenobi oh yeah so we got we we have I the first it, yeah. episode of kenobi and let me tell you i am so 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 excited i think like i'm that excited where you know I'm working from home, yeah. and I might just have to uh, <laughs> binge watch. Binge watch. Hey, you got you better crack open a good beer. We'll be posting some oh, good dude, beers while I, we're watching it, you know? dude. And seeing all the beer posts recently, of all the new freaking Star Wars cans that everybody's releasing, I'm just like, yo, can somebody please just send me one can of each? Because I'm just so excited for the, I'm just Star Wars nerding out over here. Um. But like, are you guys excited for Kenobi just as much as I yeah, am? Yeah, I am. Uh, you know how I am. You know, we watched the Clone Wars. We watched all the movies back yeah. in the day. So there's just gonna be such an exciting time for all of us. Once we see it, you could go to the bar, talk with people. You know, we'll talk to Matt about it. We'll be just going back and forth. But come on, they can't let us down. It's like that one thing you just want to see greatness and. We always talk about greatness in beer. We want greatness in shows. We're just kind of spoiled. We want greatness in everything. We want in anything that we do. Golf, beer, work. You know, we just want to do great things. So we want to see greatness when we're not working or we're just chilling. We want to be rewarded with greatness. So I agree with you. Heron, are you excited for it or are you just kind of like, eh? I mean, I didn't really know what the trailer looked like. I didn't watch the trailer. Like... Kind of going in blind, like that. Yeah, thing. going in completely blind. Like, if it is anything like the other kind of series, like I'm gonna love it. Ooh, I just gotta damn. sit my ass down and watch it. Yeah, that's kind of good though. Like sometimes when you go into blind and something like that, it's like a beer. Like if you have too much expectations, you're like, dude, I heard such great things about this. I'm so hyped for this beer, and it doesn't like live He's up so to your expectations. He almost fell out of his chair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like to rock in my chair. You know. How it is. <laughs> But, he, he, dude, that was funny. That would have been great because we have it right here recorded. I know, you're and then you guys at home could have seen it on YouTube at Brews with the Homies. Yeah. So you know, it's all great because we got, if you like to listen to audio, we got the video. Um, we will start posting on Monday, so that will be going out. Um, we'll have episodes for you every Monday, so it'll be edited, posted up. Mondays. So it'll Monday. be great. Monday. 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 All right. Monday's the day, dude. <laughs> Monday is the day to yes. start off the week. You got to start off with the with the brews with the homies uh, podcast, right? Yeah, so but let's, go. let's go to the next beer because I'm excited. Can I pick the next one? Because yes. I'm pretty sure you, you guys. You helped for them, so you pick the next one. So we have three options. We got the Swerve City, that's a passion fruit orange guava IPA. We got the Heady Topper. We got a Jalapeno one on the right. We're going with this one. All right. Swerve City, baby. Swerve City. That's the second one that we poured here. Okay. So, fellas. What do you guys? This reminds me of like a chorus almost. Yeah, it's like a nice light color. It's got some suspended little fruit chunks. But yeah, you see like there's a little floaties in there. Hold on, I think it might have stopped recording on my phone. Nope, it's still recording. All right, I just wanted to make sure because it was weird. Alright. It was weird. Started started touching you weird. Yeah, like it gave me the weird notification type thing. Huh. Yep. As we test out new equipment, we're trying to make it look nice and professional for you guys so we're trying a new recording setup so you'll be able to give us some feedback how you like it but oh, hey i want you to start this one off dustin because we had this on the golf course one time this is part of the deftones package oh, yeah. with um i wanted, with deftones and belgian beaver i really want to say there's some spice to it but it's really not the spice that i'm tasting i don't think 
It's just something really sharp that is like on the flavor. It's like the orange peel because I think you're getting the passion fruit, orange guava. So like when you get that, you're kind of getting the orange peel, the passion fruit. It's kind of the sweetness, but then you get like the rind of the orange. Kind yeah. Of I, mm, mm, yeah. No, I. You're right. Guava is sweet, passion fruit's kind of tangy, and the orange, and the orange is, like is definitely orange like bitter. Yeah, yeah. So, like, so it almost reminds me of kind of like a West Coast. You guys just way. walked through that whole like taste. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> I was tasting it. I was like, okay, I fe- I taste that. Oh, there's that. Oh, yep, there's that as well. That's this is what I love about like having beer around you guys. It's because like I like try to describe what I'm feeling, then you guys start going into the detail, and I'm just like, yes, yes. Yes, because we're, that's what I'm getting off of it. We're just experiencing it here with you. We're just like, holy shit, like what? It yeah. really tastes like that? That's, that's what it feels like. And yeah. It's a great feeling. So, Heron, like, I know you had this on the golf course, but like, it's like, what has stood out to you the second time around? Because we've talked about it before where you have a beer the first time around, and then when you have the second can, you're just like, ah, it's not the same as the first. So. This batch is pretty consistent. What I yeah. did have was the batch before that. So James, myself, and my younger brother, we went out to San Diego maybe three, four years ago? Yeah. yeah. Long time, kind of, especially since the pandemic. Like, yeah. It was two years before the pandemic, so maybe four or five years ago. So it honestly felt like a whole decade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a long ass time ago. I was yeah. still over the age of 21. You know, 26 now, don't feel that old. Yeah, but right. I was able to buy beer, drink beer. Even my younger brother was at the age of 21. So he must have been 23, 24 at the time. Yeah. So Man, you we, got these, we got these in bottles. <laughs> yeah, when I, I went there. Bottom, yeah, like, I remember. like just regular bottles? No, like no, no, no. Like... 22 ounce bottles. Because I don't know, they were having a sale of it. Mm-hmm. They had a 12 pack of these 22 ounce bottles of Swerve City. And I was like, dude, I have no idea what this beer is. I'm barely into the craft beer scene. I'm just going to buy a, a 12 pack of this because it was only, I think it was only 18 bucks. Wait. Super cheap, awesome. dude. Didn't Heron bring one of those bottles here? No. Or I, was he, like, I brought them like, everywhere. Yeah, dude. I was like way back. Like, no, we but, that's, the old place. but that's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. I felt like I remembered this bottle and I feel like now that it's starting to remember the taste yeah. i actually have a bottle that's unopened of it and it, it's very oxidized yeah, but I'm we sure can it is. see this bottle like I, we can witness what it, this bottle looks like is it a uh, physics challenge yeah see oh, the shit. physics who revived that's it, pretty that'd scary be... all right do it like well, okay. let's do it yeah. Wait, should, you know what let's do that let's, let's cool. try to revive like, we the had bottle. it the fresh new one so then you know here soon we could do it even if we just record it on instagram we'll be able to post it up and see how yeah. it tastes because it'd be cool to show like the comparison because the art on this can is really nice as like the reflective label but the bottle is a little bit more toned down but it'd be cool to see the difference it, it's and still it, yeah it still keeps kind of like the same artwork i mean the only reason i brought it up is because i thought that batch was yeah. fruitier okay yeah. okay this one's kind of like a little more west coast in a way because yeah, of that orange like that yeah. orange really it pops comes out. out a lot so i yeah. think it's more of like this one is more of like a ipa forward that mm-hmm. other one i kind of remember what you're talking about when i had it, it was like more fruit forward yeah. so i think this is more in line with having like that ipa more of like okay we could balance fruit and ipa the other one was probably more fruit heavy to get people into beer yeah, yeah. whereas this one's like we're going to showcase what we could do all around so i really enjoy it oh yeah beautiful beer it is a beautiful beer. So, my next question is, how much more would you buy of this can? So, at the, I think um, when I was checking, it's only 6.6% ABV, so it's super light. I mean, I wouldn't mind having a four pack, you know, be able to take it if I'm feeling in the mood for something with that like fruity tone, but still have a little IPA taste, I would definitely roll with that can. Golf course, I think it's a great beer. It's not too high in ABV. We could have it, enjoy the flavors. Anytime you get like heat, you know, that's gonna be refreshing. So I would definitely, you know, four, I would say four to six cans would be like a comfortable amount. Okay. Especially at the price point. I think it's a good price point to where it's not, you know, that high end craft beer where you're paying ten plus a can. Like yeah. I think yeah. at this price point you could get it between four to five dollars a can, which is a lot more affordable. Yeah. I like that. What do you yeah. guys think? Yeah, I'd probably shotgun this beer. 
Sounds like a, you know, super chill beer to shotgun. Yeah, boy. You said he shotgun. jumped from one thing to another, but I kind of like where your mind's at. I at. like where your mind's at, you know? and you know what? I would shotgun this with you. Yeah. I mean, I guess maybe we should shotgun it. Maybe How we can should. we find it other than the, the little package that we um, bought? Every once in a while, Speedy Mart carries like a rotation. A four-pack like, of it? Uh-huh. So maybe. Like, next time I see it up, I'll try to grab it because they oh, had Phantom shit. Bride there. That's oh, another yeah, yeah. one that's, in the that's, that's always a classic. That's like the like they have classic. that year oh, round. Oh, dude. hold on. You said Speedy Mart. Speedy yeah. Mart's by Gab's work. The one by Gab's work still has a shit ton of duck hunters. Yeah. So, like, yeah, there's you, um, the one Sorry, on Sorry, you guys Rado. reminded me of it. Yeah, I was like, hold weird. on. I was like, I've been meaning to tell you guys something about a beer, and I can't remember, and then you just, like, said Yeah, Speedy so, Mart. like, Speedy <laughs> Mart, Corey's, Beer Zombies, like, you have so many options at finding good cans at good price points. Uh, Speedy Mart's always reliable just to... You want to jump in real quick, find a good price four pack of different stuff. They have a good selection. So, like Davey might have a great notion lately. So it's just cool to see the different packs. Um, another place that was um, Tony um, Drippavelli. He actually was part of like the Lazy Dogs Club because he saw like my post. On no, that it. was Danny. I think it was both of them because he messaged yeah. me about it too. And we were talking, and that um, I got it when I went there like a month yeah. and a half ago. And they do a bunch of releases, and they work with a, di- a bunch of different breweries. But it's a great deal. Like I think it was only like thirty-five bucks. You got thirty-five dollars off your tab, and you get like eight cans right there. And then you get one of their releases, and you get a glass. So like every month, you get like a free like flight. So I've been doing that lately. I'm gonna try probably, hopefully like tonight or maybe like this weekend. I'll go and get the new flight of the stuff they release. But that's a cool one because it's not like that hype craft beer but it's still very solid like i love their huckleberry ipa that they did delicious it's cool to kind of see the different styles and like how they're working with locally or like in their style where it's very inviting beers it's not like oh we're trying to appease like the hardcore craft beer market we want to make something inviting yet a craft beer lover can enjoy the flavors and appreciate wow you got that flavor into the beer but it's still inviting for the people that haven't really like fully dived into it so i appreciate that it's a cool little club at a good price point to invite people into craft beer which is cool doesn't mojave have like a huckleberry cider or something yeah i think i've tried yeah, it yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. i've tried that that was really good Man. oh uh speaking of mojave um james and i had a uh, mangalorian on the course again shit you not it was all mango but just a slight bit of vanilla so it like goes back to what we talked about is like when we had it on the podcast one time, super vanilla like just tasted way different than the other time. So just the consistency, that's it's always tough, but hopefully like when they remake another batch or hopefully maybe it was the end of the keg, yeah. you get more of that mango, just a slight bit of vanilla because that's where it's like, holy shit, this beer like slaps. On so the you just grab the shit can. I, I just think I got like the end of the keg where it's like, oh, this yeah. is a good pour, bad pour, good pour, yep. but, you yeah. know, no, so it happens. Sure. But it all happens. right, let's go to the next beer because we got to keep rolling. Which is which is the next one? We'll here? let Heron choose. All right, all right, all right. Heady Topper. Oh, uh, can't go wrong. First beer, right? Yep. Ooh, uh, this looks delicious. I don't think I've had it before. Cheers. Whoa, and this was from Seth. Smell? I did a trade with him. We had him on the podcast before, so thank you. Appreciate it, man. I know Bye this guys. is. It's ironic because right here it says "drink from the can." <laughs> Drink from the can, drink mm-hmm. from the can. Yeah, like, no, we Three times. Yeah. All right, go fuck yourself, Hetty Topper. Yeah, well, we'll do what we <laughs> want. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. It's a nice, it's a nice, different kind of vibe from what we Oh, were hell yeah, dude. Wow. That's a lot know, over it. I don't even know how to explain that. Do you get peanut butter? No. Uh, At the so, end? I kind of get what you're saying. It's more of that, like complexity of like a little bit of like bitterness and like there's a lot of bitterness actually like yeah. a lot See, i don't know maybe it's because i had so much of that like swerve city where all the fruits like settled in my mouth like it doesn't taste that bitter to me just like a little bit on the back end it is so bitter yeah. like you get you get all around your tongue just coated in bitterness yeah it doesn't oh. mean it's a bad thing it's just a no. lot of bitter okay so i get what you're saying like I think I get your peanut butter vibe because, like, when I do the peanut butter fit for like my protein shakes, I kind of get the same coating in my mouth where it like tingles just like the tongue a little bit. Yeah. That's where I think you're kind of like describing that peanut butter vibe. Yeah. Because that bitterness kind of like coats your mouth, like Karen was talking about. 
And I get that. It's a beer that's going to be higher in ABU, or IBU, sorry. And it's going to be 100 IBU, so it's going to be oh, definitely shit. a little bit more bitter. The last one we had at Source City was 55, so definitely going to be a big jump up. And this is an 8%. I mean, it's not a bad beer. It's just, it's just, like Karen said, it's fucking bitter. Yeah, it's just a different. It's a double IPA that's kind of like intended to be strong or more bitter in that side. That's kind of what they were going for. Well, they strove for that, and they got a two thumbs up on that. Yeah, because like they're saying, like <laughs> orange, tropical fruit, pink grapefruit, pine spice, just a bunch of malt in the backbone to give it like that kind of center stage. A little bit of like bitterness I think if it was a little bit more fresh it might get just a tad bit sweetness in the front yeah it's like when you get something like this I know when I first had like duck hunter on tap had like a little bit of sweetness up front a nice bitter back I think right now you're getting more of a bitter throughout but overall I still enjoy it I think it's very well done I, uh, I like it I mean it, it it's like what we said it's just really bitter yeah. and when you have a really bitter beer depends if you like bitter or mm -hmm. if you don't yeah i appreciate it. it it's just something that i don't gravitate to all the yeah. time so i would say like in the ranking system that we do definitely get like i'm gonna go with a random like a three cans like one to myself two to share if i'm in the mood for like a bitter and i'm like i want to switch it up but man that's oh a that would be a crazy right hand turn to have out of share <laughs> would, would you agree, here? We Because most of the time when you go to shares, everybody's sharing like the sweet shit, right? Yeah, super or, fruity yeah. shit. Super something fruity good, shit. Like, yeah, something switch good. Switch up the palate. Come yeah, on, like, but then the Joseph course. wants to be like, hey guys, I'm going to fucking throw a curveball. I'll be like, hey, have this, and then we're going to do an Underberg after. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Underberg is actually, I would prefer to drink an Underberg than this. So, like, not saying that this beer is bad. It's just, it's just your preference, you know? Preference. Hey, I love Underberg. Settles the stomach. I'm always pushing everyone to do it at the shop or, you know, come on. Let's try to get people to do the Underberg challenge and settle your stomach, that little bitterness. Yeah, but I, I agree with you on that. But for me, it's just a uno mas. Uno mas. That's it. Just yeah. one more for you. One more. All right, what about you, Heron? What's How many would you get? Yeah, I mean, I have one in the fridge. I'm probably going to share it or... I don't know. I'm going to do something with it. Hey, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree. That would right. be the best. So, move. so far, before we have the last song, what's the rating so far? How would you rate it? Okay, so this one is like all, like, this oh, is okay. S tier. This is just like, Whoa. This is S tier. S tier oh, yeah. meaning, like, the like this is God, like, nothing can beat it, right? Yeah. This is, like, right below it. Wait, wait, we don't have that one. No, oh, not that one. The Swerve City that you saw. Yeah. yeah, the Swerve Yeah, Swerf we killed Swerve City. Yeah. Yeah. We, we know that. Like, that good. This, like, this one is at the A+. Plus. Like, right okay. below S tier, but it's A+. Plus, right? Okay, I like it. And then yeah. this one is, like, in the, like... like Mid-tier? Nah, say? it's like a C or a D. Okay. I, like, I, it's... It's like it has its moments, but it's not like it's not like you said. It's something you have to gravitate towards. Yeah, I feel that. I, in my experience, like even though I don't love it, I still it's that like C plus to B minus range. Cause I I appreciate what they do. I think it's a great beer, but it's just not the vibe. And especially when we're getting stuff that we like, and we have a fucking S tier right here, like, yeah, it's, it, it's, it makes it, like, that much more difficult to compete. So. Here's the thing, we didn't drink it out of the fucking can, dude. We didn't listen oh to these my guys. Alright, okay. you know what? Right. Fuck it. Alright, there you go. Dustin's taking one for the team. Ah, uh, it tastes the same. Ah, <laughs> oh, oh, But, alright, so, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. We, we cut off Heron. No. So, Heron, what are your rankings? Like, you agree with the same, or oh, yeah. it's a little bit different? Oh, yeah, yeah, This one is awesome. That one is second awesome. Very close. I I mean, it's kind of nostalgic in the sense that, like, I had the first batch. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, and then this one, I mean, I don't know. We got to try the last one. Yeah. We so just got to do it. Okay. 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 So, well, hey, a little backstory. This one, we went into the shop today to visit Matt on release day. You know, they had that new... Um, one from Beer Zombie that just dropped, the wrestling one. Wait, 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 wait. What wrestling one? I have it in the fridge. I'll show you. the. It's a triple IPA. Matt was like, bro, you got to try it. And I'm like, Matt, you know, you never lead me too astray. You always give me but good But hold on. He said your turn on word. He said it's a 
Ch -ch -ch triple. I know. Why do you think I couldn't say no? Okay. Yeah, do you dude. think I walked in the shop being like, I want to triple no, but no, 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 no. Like, hold on, Tema. You were trying to make it seem like Matt was the one that was trying to introduce you to it. You would have been already interested by the fact of the word of a triple. Yeah, so, so it's the zombie mania. So it's a triple what the hazy. Fuck? I, I, I got a can. Calm down, Satan. But, you know, this is why I just... We wanted to try some other beers on the podcast. We always have beer zombie stuff. So Oh, that's that's a beer. Oh, It's man. an after pod beer. We're going to enjoy it together. I, I really want this. But I really want the can. It's a tr uh, double dry hop, triple hazy IPA, full of mosaic, El Dorado, and I Idaho 7 hops at 10.5%. Let me tell you, smooth, tropical, aromatic. Oh, yeah. Out of right at more. the start. And then a nice, clean, green bitterness to round out. Nothing that's going to really take away from stuff. But back to my point, we had that. And then Matt was like, hey, we got two cans of this stuff. If you guys want it, it might be a good one for the pod. And Heron's like, I'll take both of them. So he got this jalapeno beer from RAR. We're about to try it up. So let's get it. Salute. Had a share. Thank you. What's the name on this one, Heron? The name? Uh, let's What's see. What's your name? Uh, habanero oh, nectar. Habanero nectar. Yeah, American Ooh. IPA with habanero. Ooh, super, uh, super clear, transparent in a way. Has a little bit of spice in the back. <coughs> Ooh, man, nice. Has a little heat to it, a little spice. No, it went down the wrong pipe for me. And it's seven point four percent. I wouldn't guess that <coughs> after first taste. I yeah, I didn't think it would be that. I know. It, it's a pretty big beer. I like it. Even though it has like the little heat and spice, it's like kind of enjoyable. Like it's oh, a way really, enjoyable, and it feels way lighter than I was expecting. Oh yeah, damn! I don't even like hot stuff, but like this, this slaps. I low key want some chicken wings, some buffalo wild wings. Oh, you're crazy, dude! To pair this with like a nice like hot sauce or like no, not even like, no, with, like, no, no, not even a hot sauce. It just would go good with wings. Yeah, like I feel like this good. would just be like a hand in hand type of I thing. I feel like this would go good with curry because I had curry the other night and I was like, if you're gonna go like spice to spice, like this might be like a nice yeah. little pairing. Well, why would you do that to yourself? Because I like to live on the edge, okay? Dude, dude I, I don't be... even like spice like that, and I'm like, dude, you're gonna be shooting acid like the fucking dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. They're gonna be like, Rah! dude, oh, that's we, had, <laughs> we had um, a curry from this place. They have a spice one to ten, right? The first time I got it, it was a yellow curry. I got a three spice. That shit was spicier than uh, Gloriana's fucking six. She was like, mine's not even that bad. And I was like, let me try it. Like, it's not that bad. She tried mine. She's like, oh, shit, that's a little kick. I'm surprised you're not dying. And I was like, it's not bad. And then I'm like, oh, shit, it's bad. <laughs> this time when we went, I was like, hey, I'm going to be a little bitch. Can I get a one, please? And then I had it. She got a three on hers. And she tried mine. She's like, yeah, they did you dirty. This shit's still hot. And I was really? like, holy shit, it's a one. And you're like, dude. Cool. What if their ranking good. system is backwards? <laughs> I know, like, you're what if it's backwards? You should try a 10. Hey, dude, I had it twice, and I was like, that shit cleared me out twice. And I was like, hey, Joseph it's said, a nice little Joseph said, clean out the system. Thanks, dude. Thank God for the bidet. <laughs> Oh he God. said, "He said my asshole was not chat the next oh, day." Yeah. Did you guys see the jet ski bidet? <laughs> yes, oh, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. dude, that was funnier than shit <laughs> in the group chat. But so we got kind of JB's impersonation of this game. I want to hear yours. Like, all right, so it's my second time having it today. It's gonna be the only wild. time I've had it because I had to share it at the shop. You know, Pat was looking at it. Um, everyone there was looking at it. Really? Fuck yeah, they were. And I'm like, hey, I can't be that asshole that takes all of this beer. I gotta share this shit. Do that. So I shared it, and everyone really kind of, everyone really enjoyed it. It was just a pretty, pretty light IPA with the slightest bit of heat on the end. Like it's a heat that tickles your throat. Yeah. It's not a heat that like is gonna upset your tummy. But no. it's not like super offensive. It's like I kind of like it. It's like a heat that you're like, I appreciate what it does. I enjoy it. Yeah. It's not gonna really like oh man this sucks like i'm gonna regret it later yeah I, I don't know this one for me i got it on the on like on my on my throat so like the spice is on my throat yeah. so right so now i'm just what's like, your new ranking system all right let's go back so i know this hasn't changed it's still number one the mead's number one so does this top your number two of source fuck seven? no so it's 
This is gonna be third. It's gonna top your head, E topper. Yeah. Yeah. I would say so. So damn, we're all in agreement for yeah. once on all our fears. Damn, yeah, for the flight. Yeah. I, I think we've become the same person. So you <laughs> know do, what? You know what? The I value of so. this podcast has decreased considerably <laughs> because we are all just one person. Uh, to be honest, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't like. We still have all good opinions on the beer. No, like, I just feel like this one was not one that like it stood out to me. Like Joseph said, if you really like bitter shit. This would be for you, but I'm not a bitter kind of guy. Yeah, no, I. It, and that's like to me, fair. like, I just think it's like it was deli- It was still good, but like it's not my style. Yeah, you exactly. know, like I appreciate it, but I'm like, yo, dog, you can keep that for me. Yeah. Like, you're just catch like, me on not, the next yeah. one. <laughs> so hey, that's what's fun about beer, you know? It, you're gonna have good beer, but at the same time, not all the good beer is for you. There's going to be good beer for everybody, and it's going to be good beer for whoever really enjoys their stuff. So let's appreciate it for what it is. We had some great beer. Uh, I want to announce that we will be doing a bottle share on June 11th for this man's birthday, and we'll have James there too for his birthday. We'll do a nice big bottle share. That will be in the evening. So once we get the full details on where, time, everything, I'll post that flyer send it out to everybody that way we could plan it out and make sure everyone's there to enjoy it so my question is who blacks out first james Dude, or me here's the funny uh, thing right. all right dustin doesn't know how to black out he yeah, is he is he's, he's an animal he's mm-hmm. straight until he's not and then we've never seen him not so like, what, this wait, guy, like, just acts the part the entire way until he might He die. could be blacked out. We didn't even know. Yeah. Like, he could just be like, to, fake to it be, till you make it, baby. Can I, can I be completely honest with you guys? Anytime I've been around you guys and drank, I have never blacked out. Yeah. I can say that on everything. Maybe even he doesn't trust I, us. No, he doesn't no, trust us. No, it is what it no. is. No, here's the thing. <laughs> You guys black out before I do, and I'm like, I I black out. Who's gonna take care of me after they took care of y'all? Because like, here's here's my thing. Nobody needs to take care of me. I'm good. Aaron, no, you're not. I've seen you blacked out. It's no, pretty, dude, it's no pretty, way. It's pretty. It's kind of scary. But no way. But to to go back to this, if we're gonna do this bottle share, like I'm the one that's driving. Yeah, well, we just want to... No, we'll just have a good time. No, 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 no. We no, want no. you to have a good no, time. No, but we'll that, that's what I ahead. mean. It's like I, nobody else in my household drives. So if you guys want me to have a good time, somebody's got to make sure oh, I yeah. get from point A to point we B. We will take you there. Point B the, back to point A. Yeah, we'll make sure you're taken care of. We yes. want to make sure you have a good time. But like, I, I have not been blacked out drunk around you guys, and I can full-heartedly, confidently say that. But that's a good thing, because like, you still want to enjoy it, right? We don't yeah, but dude, it. that's a lot of beer I've drinking in front of you guys, and like, yeah. there's a couple times where I was like, damn... I think I'm fucked up, but like you guys are telling me that I'm normal. Last so, year's 420, bro. This guy was dropping glasses left and right. No, there. I only <laughs> dropped one. It was a glass that I had four of. Stop right. trying to paint a bad picture. <laughs> All right, look, I would have loved that glass, okay? <laughs> but yeah, we'll, we'll make it work. It'll be fun. We'll make sure you get to enjoy it to the fullest. Yeah. So we'll announce that. We'll get the um, posters, flyers, what, uh, whatever sent out with everything. So. Uh, we'll get this posted on Monday. We'll have everything posted with that. And, you know, we'll be back at it again next week. We'll be switching it up. I think we'll have something a little bit more exciting. We'll do, like, a barley wine and, you know, maybe have a special guest. We'll, we'll figure it out. We're going to... We, we want to switch things up, you know? Ooh, we're going to leave you on a cliffhanger. Yeah, we want to hey. make sure... But before Joseph says too much and gets himself in trouble here... Find us on YouTube at Brews with the Homies. You can like, subscribe, share, comment, tell us we suck. We don't care. We just want to hear something from you guys. Yeah, and we appreciate you guys already supporting. We've had um, great numbers so far since we started. We have, it surprised me, over the last three episodes, we have over 24 plus hours watched. So I'm like, wow, that's a lot. So we appreciate the support. Yes, We're still, thank you. Uh, hey, even on the audio side, if you can't watch us you know, on YouTube, we still appreciate the support on Apple, Spotify, all the places where you can get your podcast. So, so you guys know, you. you guys outnumber the guys on YouTube. So we yeah. appreciate you guys more. But find us on socials. On Instagram, it's Bruce, W-T-H. 
YouTube, you can find us at Brews with the Homies on Facebook. We have our own Facebook group that you can join. It's Brews with the Homies. And you can find us there. Until next time, we will see you guys later. Deuces. Later. Cheers.